lawnmower mower today, and hopefully this is the episode where we drive it for the first time, which means primarily clutch and brake, uh, but we're waiting on parts for that. In the meantime, I'm doing some other little stuff like uh, mounting the ECU, just bolted that in place. Little things like battery mounts, because we can't have those bouncing around into the drive shaft. Oh, and obviously a seat. Uh, we don't have anything better yet, so I'll probably just bolt the tractor seat on there for the first test drive, you know, as seems appropriate. So got my battery mounts done here. I think they turned out quite nice. Just a little thin piece of flat bar, two nuts welded on it, and I even heat shrinked it so it's uh, a rubber surface on the batteries so it doesn't wear through them, but they are not going anywhere. Got a big fancy box of parts here, and this is the pedal assembly. Um, because we didn't have any parts already here, decided to just go with a sort of uh, universal thing. This is actually made for a dune buggy and it's definitely too chrome. It even comes with the uh, gas pedal. We don't need that. But it's a uh, clutch and brake assembly. Comes with master cylinders and everything. So it's a good place to start. Um, we'll see if we end up needing a brake booster or anything, but we'll worry about that in the future. Might see about putting these, just the pedal surface. See if I can fit those on there just for a little bit, a little bit more of the original tractor and uh, you know, keep the aesthetics going. But I'll do that after I get the rest of it mounted and figured out. So, first test drive, impending. Well, got the uh, pedal assembly assembled. Front of this footboard here was curved up a little bit, so I sliced it and bent it down flat so I can mount it something like that. Yeah. For slowing that's... down, what we need to clutch and brake at the same time though? Yeah, hadn't thought about that before. <laughs> we'll just do a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, uh, amongst all the things that I've been thinking about on this build, that's not one of them because I was thinking about how to make it fit, not how to uh, actually drive it. So that's a problem. Um, maybe I'll uh, reconsider this and cut this bracket in half and put one of them on this side, move the throttle pedal out a little bit. Cause, yeah. Point, um, didn't use all that much of that brake and clutch kit that we got. Uh, well, but I mean, most of the cost of it and most of what we needed was the two master cylinders. Um, you know, and it's nice to have something that's just like very basic and um, has the reservoir right built into it. So it's not a whole big thing. I cut it in half so that we can use the clutch and the brake at the same time with different feet. <laughs> that's about the best position I could come up with for the gas and brake here with the two different types of pedals. I mean, their pivots are completely different, so they move rather differently. But also, I cut these old pedals off of the old brake system on the from the tractor, and I tacked this onto the Subaru BRZ pedal here, which, you know, really brings the look together. So got the clutch all tacked in place here. Got the uh, old tractor pedal retrofitted onto there. Um, now I'm trying to find a solution for brake lines. Um, obviously we could buy something new, but uh, you know, that involves a trip to town. So I'm scavenging around parts to even see what fits. Well, you know, just out here stealing brake lines from all the scrap cars to make the mower work um, because, I don't know, because we have these cars and they're closer than the auto parts store.
We have brakes, in theory. I don't really know how well they work yet because, you know, we haven't moved and uh, there's no brake booster. I ended up finding enough bits and pieces off of like four or five different vehicles out there uh, to cobble together some brake lines. And actually, they don't look too bad. This is probably the most cobbled together piece because it's got like a few different adapters to all, you know, make all these lines fit. But, um, so we've got that there. Uh, oh, yeah, seat. I just bolted the old tractor seat on for the first test drive. Obviously, this is not gonna be the main seat that we use, but it seems appropriate to use it for the first test drive. It looks like it drifts pretty good. The short wheelbase, yeah. you're just like locking it up around this corner, no problem. Yeah, so uh, it needs a few things. Um, suspension, uh, currently it essentially doesn't have suspension because it's so stiff. I went around this corner and the inside front tire was like a foot off the ground from the frame stiffness, <laughs> or the suspension stiffness. So it needs that. Um, it needs a seat that holds you in place because it's really scary drifting this thing around when like, there's not even anything holding your feet on. So we need to make like little side rails so your feet don't slip off. It needs suspension and it needs a seat that's got some, you know, sides to it and doesn't bounce. <laughs> that is um, helpful. And the brakes uh, sort of work, but it runs and it drives and it runs like actually pretty good considering it's not really tuned. It's on like some base maps that were, you know, completely screwed with because we were trying to get it to run when it wasn't not when everything wasn't right so you know um oh yeah it also needs a hood latch it's kind of just uh you know flopping around there No more pushing the 2J in and out of the shop. Huge win today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Huge win. Great success. <laughs> Obviously this was never like completely finished, but, um, and it will be helped dramatically by softer suspension. But as I was going over some of the bumps there, I could see and feel this section of frame twisting. Cause this whole bit here has really like not a lot of torsional stiffness. Clearly. <laughs> so uh, there's a few things I'm gonna do to stiffen that up. One of them is another trans mount underneath that'll go across and bolt to the trans. And then I'll probably also make a plate that covers this whole top part and maybe uh, maybe like bolts on so that we can access everything, but just with a bunch of bolts. So it adds some stiffness. Yeah, some braces up here, you know, various things. But 
We didn't break anything, so that's that's good. That's rare for a first test drive, especially. A little bit of a seat, maybe oh. a harness and a, some sort of a cage. Now we can see if we can get Sam's project going today. That, that'd be a record. Two first oh, test drives in one day. Dude, it's probably what, like two? We got I, this. Yeah, probably like 3.30. Oh, 4.30. 30. Is this not working? What? Instead of making a fire in the mornings, we can just go for this thing for a little rev. <laughs> It's so warm coming off of this. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's just an exposed engine. Yup. 